Monday, October 2nd, and it's about 7.30 in the morning, so I need to leave for work at like 8.30, and what I usually do is wake up at 8 or a lot of times 8.15 if I hit the snooze button, um, and I just sort of get really ready, ready really fast and dash out the door because I'm not a morning person at all, um, but lately I am trying my best to give myself some extra time in the morning so that I can relax, be more leisurely, maybe even eat breakfast. So that's what I'm attempting to do now. Um, so yeah, so Ryan is still asleep and I a lot of times will just get some coffee, maybe do some knitting, just kind of have a leisurely morning to just give my day a nice start. Um, today I'm probably going to start editing Vlogtober from yesterday though because that needs to get done. Um, so we'll see if I have much time to do anything besides that. But in any event, not jumping up and rushing in the morning has been really nice. It just means I have to go to bed a little bit earlier and um, try to be disciplined about that. So constant struggle that we all have with sleep, I think, but I'm trying to form better habits. So I just wanted to say that you know it's October because this is the first day of this year that I've got into my car and it's been so cold that I kind of need to let it warm up a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm sure the car would be fine if I just drove it off, but like I'm chilly, like I got in and I actually had to turn on the heater and I'm chilly in here. so. So I'm on break and I'm about to head to the post office to mail my packet for this month. Um, my MFA program involves packets that I send once a month in addition to my interdisciplinary studies, which is where I'm writing the um, short graphic novel. Um, so I communicate with my mentor via email, but the majority of the big assignments and stuff I send through the mail because she likes to mark them up. Um, with pen. So let me just show you what I'm sending her. I send these once a month. So this is the third one of the semester and then I'll have another one at the end of this, of this month. Um, so I have a self-addressed stamped envelope in here for her to return it to me. And um, then I have a cover letter which is like, this one's about three pages and it tells her like questions that I might have for her about work that I've done and, you know, things where I'm looking for advice or what I thought about my reading and stuff like that. Um, then I have two two to three page annotations, which are these, and um, those are basically I pull out a craft element from one of my, um, from, t from the readings that I do and write about it. It's sort of like an essay, but um, it's more focused on like one specific craft element. And then the big piece is my um, creative. So this month I'm just sending her a revision of an essay that she's already read. Um, the past two packets have been original essays and these two are going to be revisions. One from um, residency and then one is going to be a revision from the first packet and these are like 10 to 20 pages worth of uh, creative work. So that's a big chunk of what I have done for my schoolwork this month um, as well as the independent study stuff which I have a different mentor for. So um, yeah I'm going to be getting this out in the mail and it's going to feel really good. It felt really good when I completed all the work on Saturday. And uh, then I will be on to the next assignment, No Rest for the Wicked. <laughs> Speaking of No Rest for the Wicked, while I drive, I'm going to be eating my delicious lunch in the car, which is an apple and a peanut butter sandwich. So it's a glamorous life, you guys. Hey, I'm about to head home. I'm in the library here in my office. Um, and I just wanted to say that, you know, obviously I've read the news today and 
I really think I've just been in a state of shock for a really long time. Um, there's no time to adjust to horrible news before there is more horrible news. And anyone watching this weeks from now won't even know specifically what I'm talking about because there's just so much of it. So today was finding out the news about the just completely atrocious mass shooting that happened in Vegas. Um, but it's on the heels of weeks of devastation in Puerto Rico. And, um, and obviously really bad post hurricane conditions in Florida and Houston, Texas, and all of this on the heels of watching video of Nazis marching in the streets, American Nazis marching in the American streets. Um, and that's just, you know, the last couple months. Um, there's also been terrible violence over the weekend in Barcelona because of their Catalan independence vote and you know, I'm really just naming things off the top of my head that I've been thinking about recently. Um, so I just have to say that. I just have to say that that's a part of what's going on in my life today and what's going on in all of your lives. And I don't necessarily want to dwell on it. I don't necessarily have a lot to share, you know, if you are someone or anyone you know is someone who has been directly affected by any of these things I've touched on, you're in my heart. Um, and you know, obviously this isn't the focus of what this channel is about, but sometimes you need to acknowledge the other stuff that exists in life. I wish I could say something more articulate about it but I don't want to just be silent. Not today, not when I'm not when I'm vlogging what my everyday life is. This is part of it is living in this world and feeling um really sad sometimes about the atrocities that exist in this world. So I just wanted to say that and um you know, I'll pop back up in another minute and be sharing knitting or what I'm eating or something like that. Um, but, or maybe I won't, maybe this will be the end of the vlog for the night. I don't know, but, um, I just wanted to acknowledge it. So hopefully there's value in just doing that. What do you think, Augie? You want this? You want this for dinner? I love my kitchen scale. I use it for yarn and for food and it is amazing. So these are my favorite boots and they are completely open. So I love the way they show off my hand knit socks open on both sides. And today I'm wearing my wildflowers and honeycomb socks, which I knit at the beginning of the year out of Fiber Revolution in Pink Punk. Here's what I made. I roasted the red peppers and stirred them in to the penne and the sauce and it's gonna be yummy. And yes, I was working on my marl magic a little bit while the pasta was boiling and the peppers were roasting. Oh my God, this is so good. I totally recommend this and it is vegan. So if you are vegan, get in on this. getting close to the end. This is everything I've knit this evening. These are my last colors right now. I'm holding these two together. They are both um, Nora George yarns and Fred and George, ugh, I always say that, <laughs> Bill and Fleur get married and Dudley Demented. And then for the last little point, I'm going to swap out 
the Bill and Fleur for this mohair, which is a mystery mohair that I had in my stash from a long time ago. Um, so it'll have that pop of mohair on the end held with the Dudley Demented. And then I will just have the eye cord bind off. What do you think about that, Augie? Huh? You could not care less. So it's bedtime and I'm going to start on my newest um, next book for school, which is An Alphabet for Gourmets by MFK Fisher. And then I'm going to go to sleep.